What is up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, if you have not yet done so, please click that like button, subscribe button, give me some shares, show me some love. I'm trying to show you some love. Reciprocate, let's do it. Alternate, alternate. Bad joke, just joking. I mean, what up? Back in the main cave, and uh, we're gonna paint some baits today. So, uh, last video you saw uh, where I ordered a bunch of glide baits and I'm just gonna slap some paint on them. Well, I, I really gotta get to work because uh, our first uh, club tournament is coming up pretty soon. I mean, I need to lay some doggone paint down, you hear me? Picking one, that's the hardest part. I had to pick one to start with. Before I do that, let's back up. Paint patterns. I've done some pretty elaborate paint jobs and paint schemes in the past. I don't wanna do that, not for these. These are for me to fish and I need them to be what I'm confident with. So I want to uh, use Gerald Swindle's uh, famous slogan and that's KISS. I'm gonna use the KISS method for these baits and that's keep it simple, stupid. Simple baits. That's what we're doing. Simple baits. Two favorite patterns, right? Two. Two favorite patterns. Two. Two. How are we going to do it? Two favorite patterns. Bone and shad. That's the two you need. That's it. That's all you need. A lot of these other baits, it kind of gets uh, cloudy, right? There's a lot of cool stuff, but I'm going to tell you this much. Only reason being is because I like you and because I've been on both sides of the fence. But I'll take that the wrong way. Back to what I was saying. The reason I'm sharing this information is because I want everybody to have the same knowledge uh, when it comes to uh, marketing, marketing, right? Most baits are designed and painted and packaged to catch fishermen, not fish. I mean, I said it. <laughs> I said it. That's, it is what it is. They are designed to catch fishermen, not fish. Well, fish bite just by anything you put in front of them if you do it on the right day at the right time. Tell me I'm wrong. So, what we need to do here is we need to use the KISS method more often. Keep it simple, stupid. So that's what we're gonna do. Bone patterns and shad patterns. Today we're gonna do just that. We're gonna pick a bait and we're gonna start. I wanna start with the bone dog pattern. So it's just my spin on bone. I just called it bone dog because it sounds cool. My buddy Jacob, shout out to Jacob. Jacob, probably you watching this Jacob? He's gonna know what I'm talking about, but bone dog, man. Perfect name. We're just gonna throw a little bit of black accent down the back Little black on the tail, black around the eye, and uh, that's it. That's all this bait's getting. An eye and a clear coat, and we're done. That's it, we're done. That's it, keep it simple, stupid. Let's get started. Let's move over to the bench. Air compressor's doing its thing. I'll get back with ya. Uh, the beginning of every good painting session starts with a good alcohol rub down. So just take your bait, rub it down. Hey, she needed a good bath. <laughs> Next thing you want to do is get your bait and your helping hands. It's really hard to paint a bait whenever you got like, you know, your hands moving around and whatnot. So these little helping hands make it real nice and uh, easy, or easier, should I say. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to mix your paint real well. So mix your paint real well, and then put a little dab in the cup. Just a little squirt will do ya. And then you're going to thin it. So the, I make my own thinner. This is not contact solution, guys. It's not what I use. I actually make my own thinner. There's some uh, DIY recipes online. It's way cheaper, so just put what you need in there. Just enough to thin it down to what your gun likes to spray. Mix it up, make sure you got a good consistency. Then once you load your gun, give her a couple little test shots, make sure it's what you're looking for, and you're ready to spray. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna spray just a dab down the back. Something like that. All right, now that you can hear me, the air compressor is done. Um, something like this, right? It's kind of hard to see. I know, pictures don't do it a whole lot of justice. But what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to break up that bone color a little bit, and it's going to flash like crazy. I just want it to look like an old beat-up shad, to be honest with you. That's what I'm looking for. That's what the bone dog's all about. So I'm torn now. Do I want to put a little black uh, uh, shad dot, or do I just leave it simple? What you think? Keep it simple or shad dot? Okay, so after thinking about it for a minute, I want a shad dot, but I want to keep it simple. So I'm going to do a simple shad dot. Nothing too crazy, nothing too extravagant, just a little shad dot. Now I'm going to try and line up and get the other side matching as well. Huh, pretty darn good if I have to say so myself. Just a really simple shad dot. And that's it, guys. 
That's all I'm doing to this bait. That's it. I'm gonna let this paint dry. I'm gonna wipe it down just a little bit. Then we're gonna clear coat it. I really don't wanna clear coat it though, to be honest with you, because I really like the way it looks dull. I don't know. Let me think about it for a minute. You almost caught me slipping. I'm not gonna lie. We gotta put eyes on this darn thing. <laughs> so, we're gonna put some eyes on this right quick before we clear coat. And I'm going with these red eyes. These red eyes are gonna look super slick on there uh, with the kind of, you know, beat up old bone dog shad. So, that's, uh, that's what we're going with. So, let's get some eyes on this thing. That looks pretty slick, don't it? I like those red eyes. That looks pretty sweet. All right, so now we can slap a little clear on it and uh, seal it up. So I got this uh, UV clear. I'll brush on there. I'll set it in the box, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, so while that cooks, we watch a little of YouTube. But don't worry. It doesn't take long, I promise. Oh, I think it's done now. Okay, so it's done baking, but I'm not showing you yet. Let me take it out with some hooks and whatnot, then I'll show you. Let's see here. <laughs> Maybe some red? Maybe some black. Decisions, decisions. Black or red? Hmm. I know. Let's keep it simple. We'll do both. Red in the front, black in the back. I like it. That's it for today. We got one complete. Still got quite a few more to go, but not too bad. I'm not mad. Really ready to catch a giant with this thing. But you know the deal. I got things to do. Catch y'all later.